Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for, uh, this is gonna be a 2024 jump start. So how you can get your um, start into uh, 2024 and or get a jump start on 2024. I did not wanna pull these cards, but we're gonna take them. So uh, why not? And um, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to those in just a minute, but I'm just gonna do like a regular old, um, you know, Celtic cross for these readings as well. So we're gonna see what comes up. But again, this is gonna be all about how you can get a jump start on 2024 before it even starts. And yes, I will be doing full on uh, 2024 readings like I do every single year. So yes, but let's see what is going on for you. Uh, you start off with the, well, actually we're gonna start here. <laughs> I didn't wanna pull these two cards, but I did. Um, you know, just like force a habit, right? And you have this love card and this expansion card. So uh, clearly uh, you end with the lovers. There could be just a very solid love connection uh, coming in for you, by the way. So if you want love, um, there could be just like a solid connection coming in for you is what this looks like to me. I feel like it's something you've been waiting for um, for probably a long time. You know, you have the Ace of Cups as well. So, you know, definitely could be something you've been waiting for is like an expansive love type opportunity or something like that. Um, the Hermit says that you've been in hermit mode. And um, you know, again, I kind of like this because it to me, it suggests that you're coming out of hermit mode. You are now um, maybe sharing your ideas or sharing your voice with the world. Uh, the hermit, you know, he's been through a dark night of the soul and now he's coming out on top. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you know, it's kind of like you could be stepping into the world and getting a lot more attention or, or something like that. Uh, your crossing energy is the Three of Cups. Um, three of Cups, you know, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. I do kind of feel this is not hurting you necessarily, but I do feel the reading itself is encouraging you to socialize, to, you know, get out into public, meet new people, you know, all that other good stuff. So uh, that's what I would do here is I would get out there and meet new people if you are looking for love or, um, you know, anything like that. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, um, this could say that you need to get out there and go socialize or, you know, whatever, right? And I think it would be a good time to do that. I do feel you are feeling more social. I mean, you have the Knight of Wands in the area of your closest relationships. And, you know, that's all relationships, not just love, The that area of the reading. And the Knight of Wands, you know, he could be looking to party. So, you know, I feel like some of you could be. Uh, next in the area of what's on your mind, you have the Five of Swords. Uh, I definitely feel you're walking away from the stuff. Um, you have the Ten of Swords in the area of what you're moving past. And, you know, the Ten of Swords, personally, I like the Ten of Swords. Um, the guy is dead. <laughs> it doesn't get much worse than that. And he's also making a symbol with his hands, I'll show you in a minute, which represents receiving a blessing. So, you know, for a lot of you, it's like you could just be separating away or thinking about cutting things out um, of your life. The other interesting thing is, is that going this way to the hangman, to the strength card, I kind of feel like you might be saying to yourself, like when you do cut things out of your life or the things that you do remove from your life at this time, I kind of see you saying to yourself, like, why didn't I do this a lot sooner? <laughs> so again, if you're thinking about cutting things out of your life, could be anything, doesn't have to be a person, could be whatever. Um, I really do feel you like you might as well do it now because this reading, I get that feeling down to the strength card where you're saying, like, why didn't I just do this sooner, you know? Uh, you have the, in the area of your foundation, you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing, a lot of happiness coming in for you. So, uh, you know, this is very good. Uh, I feel like you're coming from a good place. Uh, I also do feel that there could be a love offer coming in for you. I feel like you've been very patient for love going this way here, going up to the temperance card. So I feel like you've been, it's like you've been waiting for love. You've been waiting for connection. Uh, you've been waiting for something new to maybe enter into your life. And, you know, I, I, again, I do feel that there's something really good coming in for you with that lovers. Uh, and by the way, if you don't want love, and even if you do, the lovers can just be a crossroads or having been at a crossroads. Um, I do feel that, by the way, that some of you, it's like a choice or an option or there's a new option in life opening up for you. You have the Ten of Swords here. Uh, Ten of Swords is says something has died. <laughs> something, you know, this is coming up in your past position. Something is dead done over with. Uh, he's making this symbol right here with his hands and that symbol uh, represents a uh, blessing, you know? So I always look at the Ten of Swords as being like a blessing in disguise. It can be a difficult ending, reaching rock bottom, um, you know, victim mentality, things like that. But really it's kind of like a card of something ending and the ending actually being a blessing. So whatever has come to an end is probably a blessing. In your very near future, you have the hangman. The hangman uh, is about gaining enlightenment. See, but again, I get that feeling of um, knowing that you should do something and just needing to do it. 
Uh, <laughs> so if you're thinking about cutting something out of your life, again, I would just do it. Um, you know, it's like, I, I feel like there's no need to delay. I feel like there's no need to, you know, wait or look for more answers. I think you know that you're going to remove yourself from a situation. This isn't true for all of you, but definitely for some of you. It's like, I feel you, and, and it doesn't have to be love. This could be a job that you hate or, you know, could be a business that you don't like or something else. And I, I really just see you kind of like gathering. It's almost like you're gathering the strength. You know, you have the strength card next. Um, but I feel like you, it's almost like you already know that you need to leave something behind is what I get here. I also do feel that some of you have just been waiting for clarity, like in a good way. And the hangman, he, his head is glowing on this card. And it kind of says that he has gained enlightenment. So I feel for a lot of you, you know, if you've been waiting or looking for answers, or if you've been hoping to gain enlightenment in some area of your life, um, you know, I feel like that's what's going on here. Uh, and again, you have the strength card. The strength card is coming up in the area of your next few months. And the strength card is a card of inner work. You know, she is, that lion there, it is submitting to her. Its tail is between its legs because, and she has her hands in its lion's mouth. So, you know, I always say that um, you know, that lion kind of represents her inner beast, her inner critic, her inner demons, and she is getting those things to submit to her. But also, who in their right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? And the answer is nobody. So, you know, what she is doing could get her a lot of attention. So I look at the strength card sometimes as a card of attention because she's doing something that would, requ would require a crazy amount of strength. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's getting the lion to submit to her. So it's like, I really feel this for you, Cancer, where people might be surprised at like what you're able to accomplish just in the beginning of the year over the next few months. Uh, next, you have the Knight of Wands. Um, the Knight of Wands is a card of going on an adventure. And the Knight of Wands is also a card of mystery. This is coming up in the area of your closest relationships. And you can see these uh, three pyramids back here. The pyramids are what represents mystery. But I really look at him as like the builder in the tarot. You know, to me, he is willing to go build something new in his life or he's willing to get out there and build something new. And I, that's what I see for you here, Cancer. It's almost like you're getting out into the world and building something in your life, like, you know, building a business or building, you know, something else. I don't know. It's like you're building something. <laughs> you could be building relationships as well, like friendships, family, um, you know, love relationships, all that. And, you know, I kind of get this energy on him of just seeing where the wind blows you, you know, but it's like in a good way. He is very spontaneous, but uh, he kind of follows his inspirations. He follows things that just, um, you know, maybe things that jump out to him, things that make him curious or mysteries. He loves digging into mysteries and kind of like looking into things. And, the, you know, I, you have this hang man here. So I really, and his head is glowing, right? So I really kind of see you in this very much more adventurous energy. And, you know, I think this adventurous energy could be what's causing this expansion right here. And, you know, with expansion of love and lovers, you, you know, you might be expanding your interests. You might be expanding, um, you know, your, you, like how you are seen in the world. This might not just be love. It might be something that you will love is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, next, you have the temperance card. I feel like you've been very patient. I mean, you have the strength card and the temperance card. This is coming up in the area of your future feelings. Uh, I really feel with this temperance card that in the future, you know, as we get into the new year, I really feel you feel more in control of your situation. Like, like you can turn things around. It, it's like, I'm not saying that you are, <laughs> uh, but I feel like you feel like you can, you know, if that makes sense. It's like you, you kind of have the power. You feel like you have the power to change your situation. Maybe the word empowered would be a much better word for this reading. It's like, if you, it gives me that vibe. Um, you know, I'm surprised like the Empress hasn't shown up or something like that because it gives me that vibe of just feeling empowered, feeling like you can do things, feeling like you, you can conquer the world for some of you maybe. Uh, next, you have the lovers. I can't even get it off the table. Uh, you know, I feel there could be love coming in for you if you want it. Um, you know, very strong connection. I always look at the lovers as divinely guided. This is your higher self angel here. And, you know, these two people are being guided together. So, you know, I definitely feel there could be love. The lovers also traditionally a card of being at a crossroads, having a choice to make. And, you know, coming up in the area of your outcome, I feel like you are going to choose a new path, stepping in to the new year. Again, this reading is about how to get a jump start on the new year. And, you know, I kind of feel that a lot of you are getting a good jump start because it's like you're picking the path of empowerment or you're picking the path of expansion, like that first card said there. So um, I'm going to use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun to clarify this deck here. And we're going to see 
what comes up for you. With the Hermit and the Three of Cups, you have this appreciation card. Yeah, really good energy to be in. Um, you know, especially at this time, seems to be a time of like heightened manifestation, I would say. So I feel people could really be um, manifesting things very quickly in life or people could be very focused on manifesting things quickly. And so I feel like you could be manifesting things quickly but by appreciating what you have. Again, the Three of Cups is like a card of appreciation. You know, they these people on this card, they are celebrating the fact that they had a harvest. So that's what they are celebrating. And, um, you know, some, it could be a reunion as well. But, you know, again, I kind of feel like any celebrations that you could have, um, you know, would be a good idea. I, I've said this before that, you know, for like the past four years or so, I really took the time to start celebrating even my smallest wins, no matter how small they are, and like really enjoy them more. It's like I used to be the type of person where I just like rush right past it onto the next one um but um you know that creates an energy of just like stress <laughs> you know or it creates an energy it's like there's nothing wrong with achievements trust me i talk about achieving things all the time right but i think there is a negative achievement mindset where you're just like grinding your face off right and so you know I, i've really taken the time to not do that and to to appreciate the, the little things and, and that's what i feel like you're doing that's why i'm saying this uh, with the five of swords you have this riches card. I see, yeah, like, I feel like there is a lot of abundance coming in for you into the new year. I feel like this is something you've worked for. This is Saturn and Capricorn, and this card, and my thing with Saturn and Capricorn is the quickest way we can earn with Saturn and Capricorn is education. So we had Saturn and Capricorn in uh, 2016, you know, back then, and during that time, I remember telling everyone, you better be learning something new. And yes, Saturn is not in Capricorn anymore. I don't care. It's going to come back in like 27, 26 years, whatever it is. I don't care. And um, so it's going to come back, right? And if you didn't do something between now and then, or, you know, 2016 and then to like learn something new, to upgrade a skill, to, um, you know, just improve your life in some way through education, then you're screwing yourself. So, you know, I always tell people like, don't, you know, you will get the rewards if you do the work. So, you know, it could be a lot of abundance, could be anything. With the Ace of Cups, you have this discrimination card. This is not like discrimination like we think of it, like racism or something. This is like being able to tell the difference between you know what's right and what's wrong for you. And so I feel maybe you just have a better picker, right? <laughs> if you're if you're picking uh, a person, I feel like you just are better at picking who you know the right person. If you are picking a path with the lovers, I feel you just have a better picker in in you know picking the right direction. She's even kind of like pointing on this card, right? And she has a sunflower in her hand. And I always say sunflowers in the tarot, they point towards the sun. So, you know, I feel like you're just better at picking the things that are gonna be right for you. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have this inspiration card. Usually with the Ten of Swords, inspiration is what we need. Um, the sun is coming up on the Ten of Swords in the background there, right? And so usually on the Ten of Swords, he's like dead. He's reached rock bottom. And inspiration is like one of the things that I believe is something that we all need to pay attention to over the next 20 years. Uh, Pluto, uh, you know, Pluto and Aquarius, definitely inspiration. I think not only should we be inspirational to other people, but we should also be following inspiration. That's probably where we're going to get a lot of our best guidance. Uh, with the hangman, you have the speculation card, Cancer, Jupiter and Cancer. So this is basically your energy. And, uh, you know, again, I feel like some of you, mm, like, I feel good about this, but I also don't, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> you know, I feel like some of you, you know, it, Hangman is stuck and he needs to get off the pole, basically. He is here. He is like looking into the future. He's thinking about the future. He's hanging from the tree of knowledge and wisdom, but he's, his head is glowing. He's received the answers that he needs. You know, speculation is like speculating on something, thinking like this could go this way or that way. And I feel this is saying like, don't just like think about something, actually find out how something is gonna go. So if you're in this like thinking mode, um, then I kind of, and even here, right? The temperance card, the temperance card is also, you know, I personally consider temperance to be a good card, but he's trying to turn water into wine. Um, and this path behind him is the path to glory. It's like the path to success or the path to everything he wants and desires in life. There's this glowing crown in the background, but it's like, he's trying to make a situation perfect. You know, he's pouring that water back and forth. He could just get onto that path and just stop, right? <laughs> so I feel like you just need to start something instead of like thinking things need to be perfect. With the strength card, you have this lust card. Um, you know, the strength card, by the way, can represent lust uh, as well, or, you know, kind of like trying to uh, tame your lust or something like that. Uh, I do feel like there could be an explosive connection. Uh, we're talking about explosive in the right way, if you catch my drift. If you don't, ask your mom when you get older, number one. Number two, um, what I would say here is that, um, 
you know, I feel like there could be a very lusty connection coming in for you. I definitely feel that. Um, could be someone very fiery. Like it could be, you know, you have like water here. You have a lot of water here. Virgo, Leo, Capricorn stands out to me. What else? That's like it. But I also feel it could be like a very fiery connection. If it's, if it's not a person who has a bunch of fire in their chart, it could just be a very fiery connection that's coming in for you uh, with this energy. I also feel that you are kind of like paying attention just this whole area right here, right? It's basically all fire right up to here. And, um, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you're paying attention to like what you're attracted to. Um, but I'm talking about like work or business or your career. And, um, you know, you could be feeling very drawn to do certain things. And I like, I would do those things though. Uh, yeah, with the Knight of Wands, you have this revenge card. I would be, I'm telling you right now, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I don't know if it, we have Mercury retrograde coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's that or if it's just one of those years or what, but I've been getting a lot of this like jealousy gossip energy. I've been getting a lot of energy of like exes coming back, but not even to you. Like you meet a new person, their ex tries to come back and maybe like ruins a relationship. So I would be very careful with that stuff. Like if you're getting any weird messages of people being like, oh, this person cheats or whatever. Like if you just met a new person, it might not be true. It might just be a jealous ex or something like that. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of this lately. And I, again, I have no clue why. So I'd be careful of that um, just in general. Uh, so there you go. Uh, with the temperance card, you have, are you kidding? Look at this. Basically the strength card. This card says endurance on it with the temperance card. You know, again, the temperance card is coming up in the area of your future feelings. I'm telling you right now, I feel this is how people see you. Like like the little engine that could, right? <laughs> it's like, that's the energy I get from this reading. It's like not giving up, just, you know, pushing forward. I kind of feel like people are gonna be very surprised by maybe the things you accomplish, Cancer. I feel like you have to believe it. I feel like you have to accept the new path with the lovers. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. We'll see what that clarifies too. But the lovers, again, is being at a crossroads. It's like, I feel like you have like, the one one direction is just like your old life, you know, exactly the same. The other direction is this right here, is you standing out, people being like, who the hell is this, right? <laughs> so I, pick that direction, be different. Do the thing where people are gonna be like, who the hell are you, you know, in a good way, you know, go that way. Uh, with the lovers, you have this caution card. Yes, I would be careful of anything, you know, especially someone getting in between this. I really feel this is a good connection, but it's like, you know, I think someone's trying to ruin this connection or will try to ruin this connection. So, you know, again, if you meet a new person and their ex is getting involved or whatever, you might wanna block that person or, or not believe them. It might not be true. Um, I also feel this is like caution on, you know, clearly the reading itself is is asking you to expand. You have that expansion card. It's like saying this way is expansion. This way is contraction, you know, it's what I feel. And, um, you know, it's, it's like not very clear to me exactly what this is, right? But I feel for some of you that, you know, I feel for some of you that you're being guided in a new direction. You have two angels here, temperance and also the lovers. The lovers has your higher self angel on it. The other crazy thing is you have this angel card at the end, it literally says spiritual guidance, protection from harm. It's like you are protected, but I feel like your guides are saying like, hey, look, you know, look at this. I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, right here, there's this, you know, she has a much better looking tree. Yes, there's a snake in it, but you know, who the hell cares, right? So yeah, there's a snake in it, but look right here. This, this tree right here. I feel the universe is like saying like, hey, there is um, this new opportunity. There's something new, a new path coming into your life. Go down this new path, like crabs in a bucket, right? I'm sure you've all heard about crabs in a bucket. You know, um, it's like when you try to escape the bucket, the crabs pull you down. So I feel this is saying escape, go towards like the new path. Uh, you have this dog barking. It says advice from a friend. Yeah, I would I would make sure you understand where um, advice is coming from. It's like, I'm getting very clear advice popping into my head, by the way. It's like, I feel like if you're getting advice from a person and it's fear, that is not the advice you should follow. If you're getting advice from a person and it's expansion, that is the advice you should you should follow, right? I, I don't know, it's like popping into my head as you sorting um, advice that you're receiving. So it's like, I, I think it's two buckets, right? Very, very simple for you, Cancer, to pay attention to. I think one bucket, the advice from people, you know, this entire next year, I think all of 2024, this is a jumpstart reading. It's not even a 2024 reading, but you know, I, I think it makes sense as well. You know, it's almost like you pay attention to the expansion bucket. When people are coming from the heart and, and telling you to expand, that's the advice you listen to. When people are telling you, oh, be afraid of this, be afraid of that, they're coming for you. This is happening, whatever, right? I would avoid those people or avoid avoid their advice. You, you have this card, it says, acts forces working against you. 
you have this fair man. It says dealings with relationships with a fair man. It's a, and then this dagger that says fears, worries, tense situation. I, if you have a person like this, doesn't even have to be a man. I would avoid them. Uh, you know, again, I would also avoid, you know, anything that seems to be working against you here. I feel like this is all one situation. We kind of already talked about this. You know, this could be someone's ex. That's like the feeling I get could be something else, you know, but again, I would just pay attention to where the advice is coming from or where the information is coming from. Uh, you have this rabbit card that says too much concern with sexual matters. Could This could be a past person that you dealt with. Um, but I actually feel pretty good about this. Rabbits like reproduce very quickly. <laughs> and um, if you're working on anything, uh, it just, you know, I read intuitively. And, you know, again, I think I like this deck a lot, this tea leaf oracle, but I think it's a little bit overly negative for no reason in the first place. But, um, you know, what I would say is there's a ton of expansion here. You have literally all this fruit on this tree, on this card this expansion card. So, you know, I really feel you're going to be bearing fruit. You're going to be producing a lot this year. And again, you have a spiritual guidance card. So I feel you are protected from harm. The thing is sometimes like I think people come at us, you know, with like, you know, constricting advice and stuff like that because it keeps us attached to them, you know, because it's almost like they're our source for strength. I feel like you are your own source of strength here. Clearly, you have the strength card and the endurance card. And like I told you, I really see people being like, how the hell was cancer able to do this? So, you know, I think it's your time to shine, kind of. You know, I think it's your time to show the world how strong you are here at Cancer. And, you know, it looks like that's what you're doing. So, love it. Expand. That's all I would focus on. One word, expansion, right? So, love it. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.